when you start OMAD, as you keep going through it, you're going to have some cheat meals. There's going to be some things life is going to throw at you. You're going to have to make up for some weight. You're not a machine. But if you keep weighing yourself, if you keep vigilant, you are going to be, get better and better and better and better and better at it, just like anything else in life. Now, uh, for some of you, this is a fight for your life. For me, it's a fight for my life, okay? Those are the people I'm trying to reach. I'm trying to reach everybody, okay? But specifically, I want to let you know that this is a fight for your life. Life is very indifferent to your problems, and you have to be ready for it. And, who's, and who, who knows if I'm completely, absolutely ready for it? I don't know, but you got to try, right? Okay. Why did I not keep on going and get super lean and ripped? Because I'm a power lifter. I don't want to be super lean and ripped. I want to be functionally strong, meaning I want to perform on the platform, lifting weights. I'm not a bodybuilder, okay? I, uh, I'm not stuck in mirrors all day posing. That's not what I do. I'm a weightlifter, and I've chosen the body weight of 250 pounds because I know that uh, to lose 25 or 30 pounds over the next year, keeping to a strict OMAD protocol is a no-brainer. And I can keep getting strong and stronger. And I can keep competing and having fun. For me, life isn't about looking good in my clothes only, walking around and just looking good. It's, it's nice to look good in your clothes. That's a wonderful thing. But what's happening in the dark, in, in, in all that flesh? What's happening in that blood and that bone? right? What's happening to your skin? What's happening? You know, look at someone's eyes. Look how white their eyes are, right? Look how white their eyes are, okay? How healthy are their eyes? How healthy is their skin? These are the important things. Your overall health. Now, um, and I'll tell you what, when your quality of life goes sideways, you're not going to give a shit about clothes, be the last thing on your mind. So you, you need to prioritize, okay? Worry about what's happening inside the bone. And from there on out, that's the best way to approach it. Take care of your business. Take care of your health. Everything else will fall in place. And that's the main purpose of this channel, is to help in a way that I think is helpful. Now... Let's take a look at the last five months of my life. We're going to go back to October 2018, and I'm going to show you my OMAD protocols. All right. Okay, so as I said, it's a phasic process, man. All right. Now, in July, in July, of 2018, I tried my first dry fast. It took me four months before I got the guts up to try a dry fast. And I, that dropped me from 271 to uh, my lowest was 245, right? Then I drank some water after I broke that dry fast. And I said, well, my mission is to break 200 pounds. But I was two. 59 at the beginning of August, and I knew that was going to be a tall order, right? And I knew that it was time for me to start powerlifting again, seriously. So I had to make August count. So I dry fasted like crazy, and I got myself to 219. All right? To 219. Now, pay attention. 219, right here. Beginning of September, this is when I started trying to maintain my weight without anybody's help at all, which turned out to be a bad decision. But at 219, I had to drink three gallons of water, which put 24 pounds on me, ate a meal, 
That brought me up to 245. That took me from 219 to 245. Now that's just water weight. That was to get me hydrated again. You see? And I said, okay, I'm gonna give myself a range to stay in now, 231 to 260. That's a weight class in the USAPL to stay in this weight range. Now, down the road, we're gonna see that I'm staying right in between here. But right here, this is, this is my first challenge. Learn how to eat everything, carbs, fat, protein again, and to stay in this weight range. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm just learning, finding my way, finding my way. All right, now here in October, I haven't begun OMAD yet. But I started going sideways really bad, and I talked to Cole at this point. On uh, October 21st, Cole and I had a conversation, and he said, well, you should, you should do OMAD, right? And my coach also, a couple days later, suggested the same thing. So I said, well, hey, maybe I ought to do OMAD. And so I decided to pick the weight range of in between 247 and 236. Now, that means that I had to design a meal, right? So I started eating rice and beef. But the rice was not doing me as much justice as, as, as it should have. In November, my dad's health really started going sour. And I said, okay, I'm not going to worry so much. I'm just not going to eat. Uh, I'm going to still eat one meal a day and have a little snack or something if I want because there are greater things in life than, than being so strict that on top of all the stress of my dad in his last month or so on the planet uh, that you know, I'm not, I'm gonna, not going to add that stress on. But I didn't completely throw caution to the wind and start eating like a maniac, right? Because I had done too much work. But it was still time to work out, still time to train, still time to take my health seriously because every day I was confronted with cancer and a dying father. So there was no time to get back on my heels and rest. December, rest in peace, Dad. Rest in peace, Mom. December 13th, my dad died at 2.15 in the morning. Now, as you can see what happens on the 13th, I'm out of my weight class range, but not so far. I'm at 261, right? That's, uh, that's a, I'm six pounds over there, and I'm maintaining there. But after the funeral, and after the purging of tears, I start getting it under control again. And I switch from rice and beef to sweet potatoes and beef. And the meal that I'm getting ready to show you in a second is what's keeping me here within a 254 pound to 247 weight range. Now here, I'm, I, I get out of my weight range a little bit because I was doing some social, some social eating. Remember social eating? Oh yeah, and I got sick, I had the flu. Oh yeah, I got sick and got the flu because of all this, right, all that stress. That's what I'm gonna blame it on. And, uh, but, I have many more days in, in the weight range that I chose. Many more days, which is a victory. Now, here we are in February, right? Now I'm staying within the weight range that I want, 250, 255 to 245. I'm training, staying strong. I've only had one, two, or one, two, three, four days out of that weight range. That makes me happy, right? I'm learning. Now this is a what a uh, um, a nine pound range that I'm staying within. Five months ago, I was happy with a thirty pound range. You understand? This is why you track your weight so you can get better at things, right? Now let's go over to the scale and let's track my weight. Okay. So I'm standing on this scale, I'm about to stand on this scale, butt naked, and I'm going to show you that 247 pounds was what I started off at in, in, uh, 
in September. And through learning how to do OMAD, let me show you where my weight is presently. 250 pounds. Not bad, eh?